Hi everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel, where we focus on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Next in the series of Here Journal of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 9, Proverbs, the book of wisdom, the Bible's book of wisdom. It's really good. We're reading through Proverbs a chapter a day and here journaling, which is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship to the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn about here journaling and like and subscribe and you can see more of these videos. But now let's listen and learn about Proverbs chapter 9. Chapter 9 Wisdom has built her house. She has carved its seven columns. She has prepared a great banquet, mixed the wines, and set the table. She has sent her servants to invite everyone to come. She calls out from the heights overlooking the city, Come in with me, she urges the simple. To those who lack good judgment, she says, Come, eat my food, and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways behind and begin to live. Learn to use good judgment. Anyone who rebukes a mocker will get an insult in return. Anyone who corrects the wicked will get hurt. So don't bother correcting mockers. They will only hate you. But correct the wise, and they will love you. Instruct the wise, and they will be even wiser. Teach the righteous and they will learn even more. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. Wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. If you become wise, you will be the one to benefit. If you scorn wisdom, you will be the one to suffer. Folly calls for a hearing. The woman named Folly is brash. She is ignorant and doesn't know it. She sits in her doorway on the heights overlooking the city. She calls out to men going by who are minding their own business. Come in with me, she urges the simple. To those who lack good judgment, she says, Stolen water is refreshing. Food eaten in secret tastes the best. But little do they know that the dead are there. Her guests are in the depths of the grave. Proverbs chapter 9 so now the Here Journal, highlighting Proverbs chapter 9, verses 7 through 12. Anyone who rebukes a mocker will get an insult in return. Anyone who corrects the wicked will get hurt. So don't bother correcting mockers, they will only hate you. But correct the wise and they will love you. Instruct the wise and they will be even wiser teach the righteous and they will learn even more. Fear the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. Wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. If you become wise, you will be the one to benefit. If you scorn wisdom, you'll be the one to suffer. And now, my explanation. The wisdom found in Proverbs chapter 9 instructs not to waste time trying to correct a mocker because they will only hate you. Correct the wise and they will prosper. The fear or respect of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Lord results in good judgment which will add years to your life and you will benefit from wisdom. The people that scorn wisdom will suffer. So that's the application to our life today. We must seek the Lord with all our hearts, uplift each other to gain wisdom and reap the rewards of faithful and obedient following of the Holy Spirit to obtain His wisdom, knowledge, understanding, 
and instruction that will benefit ourselves and others. So my response is, Lord, I'm diligently seeking you, your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and instruction. Help me to be all that I can be in you so I can do all that you'd have me to do. Hey, now you try it. Go ahead and read Proverbs and journal. Try it. You won't be disappointed. Don't be discouraged. God is not going to let you down. And comment below what your experiences are. Are you walking through Proverbs with us on this? It's really exciting. And if you don't know the Lord, as your personal Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 and talk to God about it. He loves you. He really, really does. Keep seeking Him. See you next video.